in Southern California, vegetable gardening is, it doesn't have a season. It's a year-long activity. And um, so I want to just so, show a snapshot of my own vegetable garden here on April 6th, 2021. It's early spring. It's a time of transition. But I want to emphasize that um, there are things growing in the garden that were planted last year that we're still harvesting now and then there are new things going in every day and so I just want to show the timings of different sowings and plantings so that you can get a sense of growing food to uh, eat all year and when to do when to grow different things so I've got 12 beds in my vegetable garden and this is bed one it was sown January 10th it's got beets going to carrots. Um, and then this bed too is peas that was also sown January 10th. And these peas are just uh, about ready to start harvest. Um, they will, we'll harvest them. We'll be eating from them through this month into and through May. And they ought to burn out and get powdery mildew by the end of May. And so something warm season will go into this bed after that. Tomatoes, peppers, melons, something like that. These are some heads of lettuce that were sown February 22nd. Uh, Crispino iceberg heads of lettuce. And then most of my uh, lettuce and other greens are in this protected bed. In bed number three. You can see that there's lettuce and chard and celery uh, in there. It's protected from the rabbits. And so um, I'm just doing my last sowing of uh, greens and lettuces right now because they won't uh, they won't do well much past mm, say mm, June. After June, lettuce is kind of uh, um, tough to grow in Southern California. It's just too hot. This is a, a bed of onions and garlic. So in the front, I've got onions that are sown three or four, groups of three or four. It's a variety of yellow onion called madeleine. They were sown um, October 24th and planted in mid December and then on this side is uh, garlic. Here is a bed five which is carrots. It's a variety called mochum. Uh, very, it's my favorite variety at the moment. It's very tender. So tender that you have to be really careful harvesting them because they'll break and you'll lose half of it in the ground this uh, fabric on top is to protect from rabbits and birds as well but that uh, sewing was done in early February and then this bed here is uh, broccoli that we long ago it was planted November 1st I think I sowed the seeds in mid-September we long ago harvested the uh, heads, but there's still side shoots coming out um, that we can harvest. Lots of side shoots. They grow fast this time of year, and you've got to keep up with the harvest. But for another few weeks at least, we'll be harvesting side shoots off those. In bed seven, these are peppers that have overwintered. I planted them last year, May 9th, 2020. So there's a couple of little bells in the front and a padrone and a poblano in the back. They're just leftovers from last year. This bed here is my last carrot sowing that I sowed on February 14th. And I kind of accidentally sowed some potatoes in with it. So you can see potatoes there. Uh, 
I'd let my son sow some potatoes. And so uh, he did, and they're growing, and they're mixed in with the carrots. But that'll be my last sowing of carrots for the year, or for the, until, until the fall anyway. Carrots don't grow so well through the summer. They don't, well, they don't taste very, very good into summer. Here are two beds of strawberries, and as you can see in the first bed, I've interplanted tomatoes, and uh, I'll train those tomatoes up high so you can still eat the strawberries, and the strawberries still get plenty of sun. And then soon I'll plant another round of tomatoes in that strawberry bed. Uh, down here, these are more onions. These are red and white onions. It's a variety called Red Rock and White Castle. These onions were sown on September 30th. We'll probably harvest, it, harvest them by the end of May or sometime in June. And so at that point I could just wait a little bit and put my first round of brassicas in. Uh, uh, plant them sometime in August, so just leave that bed open for a bit. Or I could plant some late tomatoes there. This is my last planting of broccoli and cauliflower for the year. So I sowed the seeds January 10th, and I put the plants in on March 4th. I've got the netting over for aphids and rabbits, but um, that's a late sowing, a late planting, especially inland where I am. Uh, I'm about 20 miles from the beach. So I'll probably get some small heads out of these plants, but not nearly as big as the earlier sowings. If you want big heads of broccoli or cauliflower, you need to sow those seeds at the end of summer and plant the plants by about Halloween at the latest. Anyway, uh, these plants will probably be coming out by the end of May, and then, or maybe sometime in June, and then I'll have uh, more space for some warm season stuff. Let me take you up to my nursery. This is my nursery, also called a wagon. It's just where I grow my seedlings. Uh, you know, you can um, buy seedlings at the garden center or the nursery, or you can grow things from seed. I prefer to grow things from seed just because I can kind of control the inventory better. But anyway, so what I've got here, uh, here it's April 6th, so I've got last sowings of like greens, these are collards and lettuce, chard, and then I've got first sowings of summer stuff. Not all summer stuff, but first sowings for some summer stuff, zucchini, pumpkin, uh, cucumbers, and then this is, these are some tomatoes that will probably go in that strawberry bed soon, and then this is probably my last tomato sowing for the year. I'll probably plant those sometime in June or a little bit before then. And so um, there's always some plants on deck to fill in the empty spaces, and that's how I do it.